The beautiful Castilian town of Segovia, UNESCO World Heritage Site and home of IE University. There are guidebooks and Wikipedia articles aplenty to help you discover this ancient city. We've distilled this information while attempting to avoid the obvious into a single and somewhat irreverent list. Segovia, top five facts. At number five, the Romans. The most iconic feature of this historical city is a 2000 year old Roman aqueduct. It certainly is a marvel of engineering as the whole thing stands without any mortar. While the experts say it's a first or second century construction and undoubtedly Roman, local legend would have us believe otherwise. The two alternative building contractors are Hercules, he of the twelve labours, and the devil himself. The devil legend has it that a young girl, understandably tired of carrying water from the well, sold her soul to the devil in exchange for a labour-saving water delivery device. The devil, accepting the challenge, worked throughout the night to raise the aqueduct. The girl, however, repenting of her evil bargain, prayed to God for salvation. God took pity on the poor child and caused the sun to rise early, leaving the devil unable to fulfil his contractual obligations. With only one stone left to place, the girl's soul was saved, the aqueduct was built and they all lived happily ever after. Except for the devil, of course. At number four, Gothicism. Well, Gothic architecture. The majestic cathedral. Building work began in 1525, making this the last Gothic cathedral in Europe. It wasn't sanctified, however, until 1768. Standing at 88 metres tall, and nicknamed the Queen of the Cathedrals, it was once taller than it is now, but lost a few metres in 1614 when it was struck by lightning. Following the Gothic theme, we have the Alcázar, the last castle built in Gothic Europe. It was in fact constructed over several centuries, but the final design owes much to Felipe II, Philip II, the late 16th century king of Spain. Inspired by the roof architecture of Northern Europe, Felipe's design is considered by some to be his grand folly. This is perhaps a little unfair in retrospect, as it is the most photographed castle in Spain. With a population of over 56,000 and standing at a kilometre above sea level, the city has the slightly odd nickname of the Stone Ship. The Alcazar is the prow, and the cathedral, the mast. At number three, the New World. As well as fanciful maritime associations, Segovia also boasts royal connections. San Miguel Church, here in Plata Mayor, was the site of Ferdinand II and Isabella I's sponsorship of Christopher Columbus's 1492 voyage to the New World. It was also the site of Isabella's coronation. The monarchs promised 10,000 pieces of silver to the member of the expedition who sighted land first. Although the lookout, Rodrigo Triano, was the first to see the New World's coast, Columbus said otherwise and claimed the 10,000 pieces of silver for himself. At number two, food. As any visitor to the Iberian Peninsula will know, Spain is a gastrophile's delight and Segovia is no exception. The city's signature dish is not one for the vegetarians. Cochinillo is suckling pig roasted and served whole. It was made famous by local chef extraordinaire Candido Lopez Sanz. Known locally as Mesonero Mayor de Castilla, which roughly translates as the highest innkeeper in Castile, Senor Lopez Sanz even has a street named after him. His family restaurant is still going and is run by his son, who now performs the traditional cutting of the pig with a plate. It's to show how tender the meat is. And number one, my personal favourite, parties. After the food comes the fun of the festivals, and the festival of Santa Agueda, which is held on the Sunday closest to the 5th of February, is one of the most colourful in Segovia. Santa Agueda is the patron saint of Taramarala, and also the patron saint of Sicily. She's also the patron saint of midwives, wet nurses, earthquakes, fires and eruptions of Mount Etna. Centuries ago, during the Christian reconquest of Spain, the Moors held the Alcázar. The local women executing a cunning plan dressed in their finest clothes and distracted the guards by dancing for them, while the men snuck in to attack. The plan failed, the women were captured and the leader had her breast cut off the same fate that was suffered by Santa Agueda. The three-day festival began in 1227. Only married and widowed women participate in the traditional dances, wearing traditional dress. A separate, more modern aspect of the festival revolves around burning an effigy of a man to ridicule masculine power. Of course, Segovia has much more to offer than these five facts, but nevertheless, we hope we've given you a taste of the richness of this historic city. 